Hi guys and welcome to another bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well in our last video we created this sort of image swap with scale in or zoom in or zoom out I suppose if you're looking at it like that. Today we're going to do an image swap on hover with slide right. When you hover over it it's going to slide right. When you let go of it, it'll slide back the other way. Really easy to do with a bit of CSS, so let's get started. For expediency, I'm going to start with a basic here, which was our first one we did, which is the fade. And I'm just going to start with the two columns with images in them and an image on top. And I'll put a link down below so you can download this starter template so you get a little folder right here with everything I've got, the index.html and these four, five little images there. I'm using Brackets Text Editor today. If you don't have one, you can download it from a link below also. It's free, but any text editor will do. Okay, so here's our starter template. We'll start from here, the old fade one we did. So let's go in there and duplicate what we've got. Or you can work on this one, it's entirely up to you. Simply going to select the section, Control C, drop down a couple, and paste it in below, Control V. Okay. Well, we created the class of IHV for the hover effect that it's got on it, which is the fade. So if I delete that, we should just be left with two images sitting inside a div. So if I save that and we go back to our site, when I refresh, we should have our duplicate below here, but it'll show our hover pictures, which is that one where I'm hovering over and this one. So let's refresh. And there we are. Great. So what we want to do, what we want to happen rather, is our image that's on top here, we don't want to see it. We just want to see the tower bridge at first, that image that's above it. And we want this image when we hover over it to slide in. And as it's sliding, it's going to fade in also. So initially you won't be able to see it. That's why we can see the image behind there. And then when we slide in, it's going to fade in and move all the way over to the right. So let's do it back into our editor. Let's create the class that we want to call this to do this. And I guess I'll call it image slide left. So ISL, make sure you don't have any classes called that. doesn't matter what you call it, as long as you remember what it is and it makes sense to you. Image slide left. Now, if we go back up the page, we've been creating on page CSS for this little thing. Let's go down below image fade there. I'll create a title, makes things easier to find if you give them a title. So it's forward slash, star star forward slash. In between the two stars, anything that's written in there won't be read as code. So I'm going to say slide left. Now let's drop down. Now we created a class. Now all classes have to have a dot or a period in front of them. And it was image slide left. Let's open and close some curly brackets. Now we're going to do what we've pretty much done with all of ours, which is make it invisible first, so it fades in. So I'm going to say opacity, colon, zero. And as always, I'll put this CSS below the video so you don't have to worry about copying it while I'm doing it here. So that'll make it invisible. And when it becomes visible again, the time it takes, that's transition duration. And I'm going to take a second and a quarter. You take whatever you want. That's pretty long, but it does showcase things pretty well. So we say a second and a quarter, 1.25 seconds, semicolon. Always put a semicolon after your bit of CSS if you're going to write another piece or it will not read the next piece. Okay, now we need to move it across. Um, now we can't move it all the way across 
because if we move it all the way across when we mouse over it it won't be there to mouse over so let's move it halfway across our image so the top Im image is going to slide halfway across so to do that we can use transform translate and we want to move it horizontally so we'll use translate X so we'll say transform and we want to translate X and open and close some rounded brackets and what do we want to do with it well we want to move it to the left by about half of its width so let's say negative 50% should do it negative 50% put a semicolon there we may add some more code to that okay so that's the non hover state it's going to be invisible it's going to be halfway to the left of the other one covering it so let's do what happens when we actually put our mouse on it so let's copy this control C drop down a couple and after the L of ISL make sure you put no space colon hover no space between the colon and the hover either if you do it won't work Pasty now we want this fully visible when our mouse is on it don't need that transition duration because it hasn't changed from above I only need things that are changed in here and I'm going to set this back to just zero simple zero and that should put it right on top of our other image square so this is it we're going to have one problem and if you watch my last video you're going to know what that problem is so let's save this and I'll show you control s let's go back to our site when I refresh we should now not see either of those images if we've done it correctly which we have now it's given away my thing okay when I hover over it you'll see what happens it's fading in yes it's sliding in from the left but it's visible out here as well so if you watch the video you know what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna write a little bit of CSS that's going to tell it once it's outside this little box it's going to be invisible anything outside there will not be seen now I don't know if you've noticed because this is a sort of effect it's not really written in HTML or anything we sort of slid this image 50% to the left so it appears there's no image there and when you hover over it it slides in but if you put your mouse over this side unless you're 50% over the actual image itself which will be about here it won't slide in so I thought I'd mention that it's not usually a problem but some people might find it an issue otherwise it's going to work so let's write this other bit of CSS and we're done so we're going to create a class now let's drop down a couple and we did exactly the same in the last video I'll give it a title forward slash star star forward slash and it's overflow hidden and this will hide anything outside the element we apply this class to class dot overflow hidden oh let's open and close some curlies simple one line of code overflow colon hidden semicolon great so we created the class now just give that a little bit of space let's apply it and we'll apply it to the div that the actual image is sitting in it which is this div right here so we just have to go in there where it says class little gap overflow hidden and the same with the one below it unless of course you like that effect of it sliding in and, and zooming in okay let's save that or fading in I should say save back that should have fixed our problem let's go down there we go and that gives the effect of it sort of sliding in from the left there like I say unless you hover over it halfway right about there it's not going to trigger it 
like I say, that's not usually an issue. Usually when people go across things, they go more than halfway. But that's a nice little effect to have on your site and really easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.